I want to thank Mother Lillian and the Gregory family for the great honor and the privilege that you have given to me to ask me to be a eulogist or the eulogist for a man that is so difficult to describe. But I'm going to try in very few words to say what I think, what I believe, and what I know about the man that lies there but is not here. The flesh house that he lived in, I saw it yesterday, and he looked like Dick Gregory asleep. And I saw him, and I couldn't keep away from touching my brother. I want to thank the wonderful brother who made that coffin and made it with his hands out of his love for the man who lies therein. I'm so honored to be here in the presence of so many giants, great men and women brothers and sisters whose lives were touched by Dick Gregory. <laughs> Maxine Waters has been set free. And all of you that heard her today that are afraid to speak what you know is right, she's setting you free tonight. But she said she got that from Mr. Gregory. So in my conclusion of this, every one of the children of the great ones that have passed on that spoke today, they paid a price to be the children of their mothers and their fathers. You know, when one of those kind of stars are, are brought out of the universe to come among us, the purpose of their life is a sense of, of mission to change the harsh reality that they find when they come to birth in a world like this. And so, coming to birth in a world like this, knowing that there's a mission that drives you, because those of us are here, you call him Baba today because he's with the ancestors, but we are all here because some ancestors paid the price that we should be here. So if we are too weak and cowardly to speak to the living on behalf of the dead who cannot speak for themselves, Dick Gregory spoke for the living and he spoke for the dead. So the best way to honor this giant who was always in the shadow of the universal God and nobody would mind being in the shadow of God because in his shadow, there's refuge for you. Dick never carried bodyguards. He, of course, they say, they look at Farrakhan and see all these men around me. Yeah, I mean, it, it really looks good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Farrakhan is not relying on that because nobody could really protect me 
if the enemy made a move to kill me, only God could protect me. And it's only God that kept him alive to die in a hospital bed. So dear family, lift up your heads. He's physically gone, yes. But spiritually, uh-uh. You want to hear from your father? Close your eyes and remember things that he said. His laughter, his short, crisp spankings. <laughs> He'll always be with you to the end of your days, and he will be with me in my heart till I take my last breath. And I pray that when that time comes, my work on this earth will speak for me as his work speaks for him. One of the greatest living legends of our time. Let us all stand and give a shout out of gratitude for God sending Dick Gregory our way. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us, he wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no! no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.